Hi guys, charity shop gold or garbage. We've been out to Thornbury today, so I've also been to the recycling centre. So we've got two bags. I'll do them both at the same time though. Some pretty random stuff in the charity shops. <laughs> First thing, I just think that's a hamster wheel, isn't it? I picked it up in the charity shop, I spun it like that, and I thought, actually that's spinning quite well. I wonder if I can make a pulse motor with it. So that's what the plan is there. I'll just stick a few magnets around it and put a coil next to it and see if we can actually get it to spin with um, electromagnetism, I suppose, or Lenz's law, a pulse motor. So we'll do that later. Next thing I found was this. It's one of those little fold out and put together kits made from steel sheets to museum quality 3D models. Simply pop out the pieces and connect it using the tabs and holes. I've seen them on YouTube, people putting them together, but I've never actually seen one in the shops. This one cost me £1.49. Oh, I forgot to say that one was a pound, wasn't it? I have taken the label off. Yeah, that was a pound. £1.49. Next. <laughs> Another tripod. Really don't need it, but I did have one of these. I'll call it a Gorilla um, pod, because that's obviously what it's based on. The ones that has little um, round pieces that you can grip onto anything. This one's, I would say, probably a cheap copy. I think it's just got bendy wire in there and a bit of foam. So you should be able to make it grip onto things and stick your phone on there to do some videos. I thought I'd have it anyway. For 99 pence, it's all right. So just add that to my list of tripods. I've got rather a lot of them. I'll be a link in the video description to my tripod playlist. All right, next, this one, and it was in the cheap box, 50p an item, even though it's got a pound grip on the bottom. And it looks to me like it's a line follower. In fact, it more or less says that. Use ordinary black thick marker or crayon. Flashing headlights, follow the track drawn by you. Single battery operated. So that might be fun to see if it works. I've got another one, a bit bigger than that, that I found in a charity shop. So I was quite surprised to see this one. That looks suspiciously like the battery's uh, gone. I'm not sure what that is. Well, we'll have to take that apart in a separate video, won't we? Let's see if we can get it to run. Example track there. Right, push that to one side. Uh, what have we got left? Right, that was also in the cheap box. Probably not worth 50p, but I bought it because so I thought I don't think I've already done a teardown of one of these. And it'd just be interesting to have a look inside, see how the front's linked to the back. There's obviously gears, probably a shaft there, and gears at that end. Probably bevel gears, I'm guessing. What well, could be crown and pinion gear? 
We'll find out when we take it apart. So those two were well, a pound for the pair. Right, then we move on to the recycling centre. Okay, I don't do guns or weapons, but I spotted this and I thought another one of those things I might take apart just to see how it works. I'm pretty sure I know. I think we put ping pong balls or table tennis balls in here. When you pull it back, that piece there is going to go back far enough for the ball to fall down inside. And then I think somehow or other it's, it'll hold itself in place. That's probably a quite a tight fit. And then as you push that, that's going to push air through to shoot it out. So we'll have a look at that. And has it got a name on it? Mm, no, don't see a manufacturer's name. We'll play with that. Uh, <laughs> another boomerang. This one looks very definitely homemade. Painted in the style of um, the ones you often buy on holiday in Australia. I reckon it might have been made by Adam or owned by Adam. Looks like they've made a bit of work, a bit of an effort to make it work. They've chamfered the edges. So I'll put that in the back of the car so we can give it a try sometime. It's not um, varnished or anything. But I think that's a crocodile, isn't that? Uh, and then <laughs> I had to smile. There's one of these in the recycling centre. It's not the same as this one, but very similar. So we'll take that one apart as well. I think they use fairly big wheels to give them a bit of a flywheel effect. But I, again, I would expect there'll be a gear in there, a shaft there and a gear there. Or there could be three or four gears all the way along. And then finally, last thing, uh, an unpredictable from the Science Museum. It's a bouncy ball madness. Only you can predict its bounce. Yeah, okay. I had a little look inside, read the instructions. It's just a, a plastic ball that's unbalanced, so it will either roll or bounce unevenly. I suppose we can give it a try in a minute on the floor. Not very exciting, but it might be interesting to my grandsons. And that's it. The, um, the items from the recycling centre, that was 50 pence for the lot. So... Boomerang, gun, uh, that toy, wasn't it? Not that one. And ball. So that cost me 50 pence. Well, I'll just add this on the end of the video. I knew I had a table tennis ball laying around somewhere. Disaster. It's much too big. So it's obviously designed for smaller balls. So we can't test it. Is that 2006 China? I've just noticed is written on the side. So, yeah, a bit of a disaster that. I've wasted part of my 50 pence. <laughs> In that case, I reckon there's a spring-loaded bit there that pushes things up and it hold it that way up. I don't know. I don't know. Still hold it that way up, can't you? We'll have to see if I can find some suitable-sized balls, but it's not 
table tennis balls. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. My second channel, Grandad's Other Channel, is where I put the longer videos with more detail. Then there's my Facebook page and you can follow me on Twitter. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. And if you fancy some Grandad merchandise, I have two shops, one on Redbubble and the other on Cotton Car. Finally, you can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.